Good afternoon and salam ibu bitiriku. The researchers who reported that Israeli software was used to spy on Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi in a circle before his gruesome death are being targeted in turn by international undercover operatives. Twice in the past two months, men, men masquerading as socially conscious investors has lured members of Citizen Lab Internet Watchdog group to meetings at luxury hotels to quiz them for hours about their work exposing Israeli civilians and details of their personal lives. In both cases, the researchers believe they were secretly recorded. Researchers of Aubrey's database of corporate records, which has data on some 300 million global companies, turned up no evidence of a spe Spanish firm called Flame Tech or Flame Tech or any company anywhere in the world matching its description. And Aubrey's search for Alonso, the supposed chief executive, also drew a blank. Facebook allowed children to rack up huge bills on digital games while the company rejected recommendations for addressing what it's dubbed friendly fraud, according to newly released court documents. The internal Facebook memos and other records were unsealed late Thursday to comply with a judge order in federal court case settled in 2016. The lawsuit filed in San Jose, California, centered on allegations that Facebook knowingly milked teenagers by permitting them to spend hundreds of dollars, buying additional features on games such as Angry Birds and Barn Bud Buddy, without their parents' consent. Facebook isn't the only prominent te technology company that has been screwed for profiting from game-loving children who don't always understand how much of their parents' money they are spending while playing games in apps or websites. Apple agreed to issue $32.5 million in refunds for allowing kids to make in-app in purchases without parental consent as part of a 2014 settlement with the Federal Trade Commission. That same year, Google settled a similar case for $19 million with the same agency. In 2017, Amazon resolved another case involving up to $70 million in potential refund owned for kids' unauthorized spending on games. The space snowman visited by NASA on New Year's Day is pitted all over and has a bright color between its two few spheres. These are the newest details to emerge about Ultima 2, the most distant object ever explored. A close-up picture taken by NASA's New Horizon spacecraft right before closest approach on January 1st and release on Thursday shows lots of little pits of Ultima 2. They are less than half a mile, which is equivalent to 0.7 kilometers across. There's a much bigger circular de depression on this smaller lobe, considered the snowman's head. Scientists don't know if these are the impact craters or sinkholes. Lead scientist Alan Stern of Southwest Research Institute promises even better pictures during the next month. It will take almost two years for New Horizon to transmit all the data from the flyby. It is about 6.4 billion kilometers away. Launched in 2006, the spacecraft became the first visitor to the dwarf planet Pluto in 2015. Ultima 2 was its second target. A third destination even deeper inside the so-called Cooper belt on the frozen fridges of our solar system could be possible in the 2020s. Well, that's all the updates for now. I'm Kamruddin Bujang. Salam, Ibu Tiriku.